This nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update, episode 833, The Inner Behemoth. Enjoy. Um, when you go in, you are presented with the Battle of the Monolith option. And this is, you know, for me, where this entire thing took off like a rocket ship. But of course, just spoilers ahead, of course, because there's some lore in here that you might not want spoiled if you haven't done this yourself yet. But you have this discussion. You talk to Takar Hawk, who says that we need help, and he says, you smell of anathema, which of course is shadow anima. Um, then you say creatures are coming through the shadow realm, They're coming through a portal, and we can't fight them off. Uh, the Takar just stares at you in silence. Your character says, well, and he says, we're searching for what? The correct protocol. The masters will have told us what to do. The masters will have told us what to do. So they knew about Shadow Anima. Yeah, they did. And the masters to the Takar have to be the Elder Gods, right? Right. And following from that, everything really just started to fall into place here for me. And what I – and this is this is wild theory time for me. My thought following from this is that with the help of the Takar coming to our aid in Battle of the Monolith, my theory is that our willingness to work with the Tsar and in particular these beings, these tools that the Elder Gods use to shape the world, our willingness to work with them will help us when it comes to dealing with the Elder Gods. Because you remember, all this time, there was this talk of maybe Jazz can do something um, when we talk to Jazz in Azanadra's quest. And, or did we talk to Jazz in Azanadra's quest, or am I remembering that incorrectly? Or is that Desperate no, Measures we talked to Jazz? Measures. Okay. Yeah, I think Desperate Measures. Okay, well, when we talked to Jazz last... She had said, or they said, that they would be watching us. And I think that if we can demonstrate our ability to work with these creatures that these Elder Gods hold in such high esteem, the Elder Gods might just have a solution for when and if their eggs hatch from the excess shadow anima that has been brought on to our earth or to Gilinar rather not earth Gilinar and that's my theory of where this is going interesting I actually think I don't think the elder gods like hold the Tokar in much as theme. like I actually think like they still think like the Tokar is it's kind of some kind of tool right so yeah uh, personally I think like if they like, if they see this, they're like, okay, so you're using a hammer I created it, so so what? So so you're basically saying then that the Elder Gods see the Takar the same way they'd see one of their Elder Artifacts then, except maybe even in a little bit lower regard then, just their, their tools then. Not really a lower regard, but like about the same as, for example, the Stuff Jazz or... Okay, sure, Kodak fair enough, it, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. And... That raises some interesting questions about the sentience of the Tsar, doesn't it? Because they are sentient in the way that you talk to them, but have you ever heard of any other such um, elder artifact or elder tool to be that sentient? So that's a really interesting discussion, and I have a feeling we'll be discussing more about that. Um, yeah, that's really interesting, actually. Because, you know, they say... Take this opportunity to train up to 75 Slayers, 74 Archaeology, and 74 well, Magic. You know, the Needle had the Guardian. It had a person with it. Yeah. Ah, true. That was communed with it for a while. Very yeah. true. And, I mean, I, the way I see it, there's nothing that can prevent a sentient being from intertwine with a... Uh, with an elder artifact or an elder tool, as we're calling the czar with this one. So, um, I, 
I feel okay with that. You can find full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed it, like and subscribe or leave a comment.